Hey guys, welcome back to Your Champion Life YouTube channel with Ron Williams. Listen, we had an old friend of mine, Castor. If you look back at some of the videos, I want you to look at Don't Eat the Pink Cookie. Funniest thing you've ever seen, guys. I had him here doing tricep extensions. And we did a video, and as we were going through the video, we were showing him exactly how to do it. I trained him and sent him off on his own. Guess what? He went back to some, I don't, I don't know where he got some of the form and technique that he made up, but we got him back on track. We've got him growing again. This one I want to get in shape for competition. He's got what it takes if he'll just continue to push forward. So with that said, let's watch the video. Okay guys, we're back. Remember, we're talking about the mind and the muscle and focusing on the muscle that you're working. And that may mean something different than what we think mind and the muscle is. Okay, here, here we go. This is Caster Davis. Glad to have you with us today, oh, man. Lovely, lovely, lovely to be here with Mr. Sensei. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna- more specificated the maestro. Maestro, you call me the maestro? The maestro. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do the tricep push down, then we're gonna talk you through it. Here we go, Mr. Castor. Right. Notice his form and technique. He's got soft knees. One. And two. Okay, stop right there. All the way up. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is once you, once you get started, you only want to come a full range of motion. You want to stop here and not go up here. Because when you go up higher, normally what you're doing is getting a momentum. So the first thing I want you to do is when you come up, ooh, stop right there as soon as you get a full range of motion and then contract all the way down. So we get it started all the way down. Okay, now come up to the full range of motion. Stop right there, push down. Good, do it again. Up, 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 down. One more time. Up a little higher, look right there, down. Good, okay. So, that was pretty heavy, good work. The weight is heavy, so the idea here is the more weight you can use on that muscle group, the more that muscle is being forced to grow. But, you'll start if you use extremely heavy weight to fill it in the elbow joint because of the movement in that hinge joint. So I'm gonna lighten the weight and I'm just giving him a few instructions. Took about 30 pounds off. Let's try it again. Okay. Now I want you to move in a little closer. A little closer. Right there. Now squeeze down. Stop right there. Squeeze down. Squeeze down. Stop right there. Squeeze down. Okay, relax. Okay, stay right, stand right where you are. Don't, don't move your feet. Now, when his body is back further, he's able to get over it, push down, but when your body is over it, guess what other muscle groups you're using? Shoulders, tricep. When you stay upright, it forces you to use and isolate the triceps only. So there's a few things I want you to notice here. You're stronger if you're back further because once you get it here, ooh, you can use your chest, and your shoulders to help that movement. But this is a tricep isolation. Mind in the muscle in the tricep. Now, I'm gonna lighten the weight a little bit more. <clears throat> Took off another 30 pounds. Now I want you to grab the, the bar again, extend all the way down. Okay, now what I want you to do as the weight comes up, bring it up and pause right there at the top. Now don't push down, but what I want you to do is contract your tricep, don't push down, just squeeze here. Now squeeze harder, and as you squeeze harder, let the forearm extend. Ah, oh, good, do it again. Up, okay, hold it, squeeze, and then all the way down. Good, do it again, up, higher, a little higher, right there, squeeze first. One more time. Squeeze first. Come on, do it. <clears throat> Keep the shoulders down. Now squeeze right there, just squeeze down. Good, relax. What that does here, 
The objective is not to force the forearm straight. First, the objective is to contract the tricep, and the harder I contract the tricep, the more I force the forearm down. I'm not starting off pushing the forearm down and that be a byproduct, the tricep contracting becoming a byproduct. But what I, wanna, what I want to happen is, in this position, I want to squeeze the tricep, squeeze this, squeeze it harder, and force that contraction to force the forearm down rather than extending the forearm causing my tricep to contract. Huge, huge difference. When I do that, I'm putting my mind in the muscle. So my mind is in the muscle, squeeze the muscle, and let the forearm extend as I squeeze harder. Wow. Okay, now I want you to try what I just said, lighten it a little more. Now we're gonna do 10 reps right here. One, tricep first. Two, keep those shoulders down. Three, tricep first. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it. That's it. Ah, uh, ten. Good job. Good job. Okay, I want you to look at the, ca the camera for a second. Get a close picture of his face. You see that sweat? That's putting in work. He focused, put his mind in the muscle, and he got it done. Look at those guns. Go ahead and show him a picture of the guns, man. Boom! Hey guys, I uh, hope you liked that video with Castor. Castor is a young man that I really, really love. He's really special and a good friend of mine. So, uh, you know, I had, had him help me move some stuff. So if I need something, he's always there. But he's very respectful, very, very respectful with my time. So anything I can do to help him, I'm willing to help. So listen, guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Write down below what you thought about this video. And uh, tell Castor what you thought about him. God bless you till next time.